Hi folks, I uh, hope you're okay today, it's good to be with you. This is Jason Burns and uh, giving you uh, a short sermon on Lot's wife. It's good to be with you. <coughs> Forgive me, I have a little uh, chesty cough and I'll try not to allow it to uh, impose upon the sermon today. Uh, don't forget to look at my website, jasonburnspreacher.com. jasonburnspreacher.com, there's a lot of awesome stuff on there by other theologians and preachers and Bible teachers. And there's a lot of stuff there that will encourage you in your faith. And also there's uh, things if you are searching and asking questions about what the meaning of life is, there's a lot of information on there uh, for you to research. So this is Jason Burns and my website's uh, jasonburnspreacher.com. Uh, if you're in Manchester, we have uh, a, a meeting uh, called the Reformed uh, Hayward Reformed Fellowship. We have a Bible study on a uh, Thursday at 7.30. And we also have a Sunday service at 4 p.m. All are welcome. And this sermon is a sermon that was given uh, to the fellowship on a Sunday afternoon. So without further ado, let's come before the Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. Father God, we come before you today and we acknowledge, Lord, our weakness and frailty. And we acknowledge, O oh God, that you are our God today. <clears throat> Father, we come before you today and we give you the prayers and the glory. And Father, I pray that you might be pleased to bless the ministry of your word today. And so, God, we come before you and we give you the praise and we give you the glory and we give you the honor today. And, Father, we pray that you might be pleased to bless this sermon to people's hearts by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. If you was to go on holiday and on the beach lie on a dinghy, which uh, sails on the sea. If you go to sleep, you're in danger that the dinghy might drift and drift away into danger. I would hazard to say that the church has been drifting into danger, drifting into a life of sin and a life of not looking to God, but looking to back, back to the ways of man. In Genesis 19.26 we read, But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. Lot's wife lived in a time of great sinfulness in the city, in, in the city that she lived in. In Genesis 19.21 we get a taste of what the city was like. And the Lord said, Because the, the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now and see whether they have done altogether according to the cry of it, which come unto me, and if not, I will know. Abraham was concerned about the city of Sodom and Gomorrah, so much so that he pleaded with God to have mercy upon the city. In Genesis 19.5 we read, And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came into this night? Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. There were some angels that came to see Lot, and the people of Sodom and Gomorrah wanted to sleep with them. It was a time, my friends. <coughs> Forgive me. It was a time, my friends, of blasphemy and sexual immorality, a despising of God. It was this cultural lifestyle that had crept into Lot's wife's heart. It's like going to sleep in a bedroom and the smoke alarm has gone off and you don't hear it and the smoke comes into your bedroom to slowly send you to sleep forever. That's what happened with Lot's wife. The culture of the time got into the heart of Lot's wife. Today we are in a time of, the, of a similar time. We live in a blasphemous age, a sexually immoral age, an age where the things of God are trampled under. 
in Romans 12 verse 2 it says and be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God it's a time my friend that you allow the word of God to change you and not allow the world to get into your mind 1 John 3 15 love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the world the love of the father is not in him Colossians 3 2 set your minds on things that are above not on things that are on earth uh, about Moses it said by faith Moses which he was grown up refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter choosing rather to be mistreated with the people of God than to than to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin he considered the reproach of Christ greater wealth than the treasures of Egypt for he was looking to the reward Remember, we are living in a sinful generation. The, um, the environment of rebellion against God has come into our hearts. That environment has soaked our minds, and we need to get that soaking of the mind in the Word of God and not in the secular age that we live. Lot's wife allowed her mind to be captured by the spirit of the age. She looked back to the pleasures of sin rather than go forward in the obedience of God. Has anything come into your mind from the spirit of the age? What sinful pleasures are polluting your mind? What sinful pleasures are making you look back? Are you going forward in obedience? Number one, Lot's wife did not guard her heart. You know, imagine you were doing a parachute jump and you got your parachute and you didn't really bother packing it properly. You was a bit, well, not really caring about how you packed it. You get into the plane, you fly into the air and then you jump out of the plane with your parachute. It doesn't open properly and you go to your death. <coughs> Excuse me. That is what we're like with our heart. We do not guard.